This is the Secure Ram EOS, and in this video, we are going to show you how to install this lock onto your door. There are some gotchas here. This is a great lock. If you have not seen my product review on this, I'll put a link to the product review down below. I'll also put a link to how to get this product on Amazon down below in the description if you're interested in taking a look. All right, let's go through the installation of this product. It is a little bit tricky. First off, let's take a look at the latch. It does have a indicator of the top. You need to make sure that that is up. The latch will adjust between two and three quarter and two and three eighths, depending on your door. So when you install it, just make sure that the spindle is in the center of your hole. All right, the next thing is we're going to install the main lock. So here it is. Now when you install the lock, you wanna make sure you do it with the deadbolt in. That is going to be necessary. And when you do it with the deadbolt in, you wanna make sure that this spindle is vertical. Bolt in, spindle vertical, and then onto the door. Now, one of the nice things about this lock is it comes with some tape so that you can tape this and hold it in for you. And that just makes sure that it stays vertical. Now we are ready to put the back piece on the door. The back piece is the piece that the inside of the lock will actually go onto. Here is the back piece. This goes on such that the Secure Ram logo is against the door so that it's nice and flush. And you put the tail piece right through the little hole and screw that on. Once that piece is on, you can go ahead and remove the tape. So there it is. A couple notes before you install the back piece on. One of them is this back piece has a little dip switch right there. And it says R and L on it. You have to manually tell it if you have a right-handed or left-handed door. The way you can tell that is you need to be looking at the door from the outside of your home. If your hinges are on the right, that means my bolts coming out this side. If your hinges are on the right, use R for right-handed. And if your hinges are on the left, your bolt would be coming out this side. If your hinges are on the left, use L for left-handed. This one I have set up as a right-handed door. If this were a door, my hinges would be on the right-hand side. If you look at my little switches, it is set up R ready to R, so it is good to go. Before you install this, you wanna make sure that there is a little arrow on your thumb turn. Make sure that arrow is pointed up. You can see there are four holes that this gets screwed in. I'm only gonna use two because I'm just doing this as a mock-up for you. This has a door sensor on it, so you can monitor when the door is open or closed. That door sensor goes on the door latch side. So there's two pull-out pieces right here. You wanna pull out the one that is on your deadbolt side, like so, and then do the install. Now I'm just gonna put this first screw in loose, and I'll show you why in just a second. Once you tighten this down, this piece is hard to slide back and forth. Before you tighten it down, go ahead and make it flush with your door just like that. And then you could tighten this down. And tightening down is gonna hold that so it doesn't shift for you. This is where the batteries are located. If you wanted to change your batteries later on, there's a cover piece, it slides right off the top. And this is how you change your batteries on the Secure Ram EOS. And there we go. Now the next thing you wanna do is just go ahead and throw it manually. Make sure nothing is sticking. It tells you that it's locked. And on the front of this lock, if everything is installed correctly right now, that little silver button will lock the door. So as you're leaving the home, if you wanna lock it, you turn around and you hit that button. And it throws the bolt out. If you've done something incorrectly, that will not work and that's when you wanna take it apart. Make sure that you've installed everything correctly. You've got the tailpiece vertical when the bolt is in. You've got the R and the L set, things like that. But that is what locks the door when you're outside and it'll tell you when you leave that you have locked your door. That's it, that's how you install a Secure Ram EOS Smart Lock. Let me bring your attention right back here to this little piece that we pulled out that we call the door sensor. This lock actually ships with a little magnetic strip and you're gonna put this magnetic strip onto your door frame. It just goes in place with a little piece of sticky tape there. 
And when this is put on your frame, you want to make sure that it is no more than three eighths of an inch away from this tab. That's how it'll sense whether or not your door is open or closed. The other thing I wanted to draw your attention to really quick is the strike plate that came with this. This is the part that goes onto your door frame. This one is not particularly heavy duty, so I'm not in love with that. However, very important, this did come with three and a half inch screws. So these screws will actually tag into the two by fours behind your frame to give you a big jump in security because instead of just ripping this out of the framing, if somebody tries to kick down your door or something like that, they're going to have to get this out of the two by four studs behind the framing. That's a nice little addition to this lock. If you want to see how this lock operates, including the biometric and the pin code, and if you want to know what's behind that little window right there and why it's important, we have a video on the operation of this lock and a review of the features. I'll put a link to that video down below. So what do you think of this lock? Was it easy to install? Did you install another smart lock that was easier, harder? Put those comments down below. I'd be interested in reading them. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can hit the bell notification icon so that you'll get notified every time we have a new video released. I'm Robert, you've been watching Locksmith Recommended.